Okay, so I'm Tiger Stew and welcome back to my channel. This video is slightly different. This video is about the five mistakes I have learned from whilst making YouTube videos. And here they are in order. Number one. Okay, so obviously I did a video where I was checking out a Weber chimney. I was doing a little review of it as I've recently purchased it. I love making barbecues. I foolishly uh, didn't anticipate how hot the barbecue would be or the chimney and I placed my phone very very close while making the YouTube video which overheated the phone which meant that I couldn't use it for a while. I was a little bit worried that I could have potentially done more damage and I also started to melt the phone case. So key learn from that, remember where there's going to be heat, there's going to be heat. Where there's fire, there's going to be heat and whatever I'm using, remember it might just get too hot and it might break. Thankfully, my phone didn't. So that's number one. Number two was making a time-lapse video. Now, I just figured out I could do this. I thought it would be a great video, and in the local town that I live in, I thought, you know what, I'll make a brilliant video. Went out, didn't really check the weather, uh, went to film, and I had a video with 40 seconds of a bridge with water flowing underneath it, which was boring. I had other clips which was boring and not very exciting. Uh, so yes, I have learned from that mistake. Uh, one, check the weather whilst I'm looking to film, make sure that I'm filming something that is gonna be enjoyable. And uh, yeah, with that video, it was, it was far too long on the, on the same stuff. So that's that one. Number three, I did a review of some lenses for my phone and uh, went to Liverpool to film it. Absolutely had a fantastic day. Um, what I didn't think about when filming, uh, as I was only there for a day, um, was checking the quality of the sound. It was very windy that day, and as you can see in the video, which I'll link here, um, it, it was a really good video. I enjoyed filming it. I enjoyed doing the over, uh, voiceover. But what I didn't enjoy was when editing, half the footage uh, had been ruined. The sound had been damaged by the wind and I should have checked that. So from now on, and um, what I do regularly with my videos is I always check sound quality, check what I've filmed and, and make sure that I'm happy with it before leaving a place. Number four, so obviously I upgraded from the mobile phone, which I used to shoot on like an iPhone, to the camera which I now shoot on now and one of the basic things and one thing that I've definitely learned from is that there's different modes there's different features and, and obviously with quality of of the lenses that that absolutely has an impact I foolishly um, went out recording didn't set up the camera properly I didn't do um, I, I sort of jumped into it far too quickly and I filmed some footage that was far too overexposed. Thankfully it's deleted, so there is no evidence anymore. But yeah, if you're gonna get a new camera, please, please don't do like I did and jump into it. Or if you're gonna use some new equipment, please do. And I know it sounds boring and sounds very mature. Please do read the instructions and make sure you're happy with everything and that you're fully aware and understand what it can do. And the last one, number five. Now this was a little upsetting. Um, okay, so I absolutely love the camera I shoot on. Um, I absolutely love the fact that you know you can change the lenses. The lens I'm using on here is the kit lens, uh, which came, it's not the one that came with the camera. Okay, I'll tell you the story. The one that came with the camera, I was filming a cooking with Tiger Stew video. Um, which I haven't uploaded because I ruined the footage by catching the release on the tripod which dropped the camera which broke the lens uh, and here it is yeah uh, it's here it's in bits um, yeah it's it's seen better days uh, so I am filming on a kit lens but it's not the one that came with the camera. Um, so, yeah, um, that, that's pretty much um, knackered. Um, 
So I had to get a second lens, which um, thankfully was a reasonably priced lens. What I will say is, um, in my defense, I was very caught up in the moment. And as I was trying to adjust the camera, I didn't really have proper grip of it. And I hit the release catch on my tripod, which dropped the camera. Um, so the key learn from that is always just making sure that uh, you're holding your camera. And um, yeah, the basics of a tripod. I was far too eager, far too involved. So yeah, so those are the five mistakes I have made. I have learned from those mistakes, I would like to think. Um, yeah, I, I just, we're gonna make mistakes, it's gonna happen. Look, no matter what you do, whether you're making videos or photography, or you're starting uh, you know, a new job or anything like that, you're gonna make mistakes, and it's what we do. It, you know, it's human nature. But the thing is, we learn from them. I've definitely done that. Um, so yeah, so I just wanna say thanks for watching the channel. You've been fantastic. You've watched, you know, those of you that were, have stayed from the beginning or have caught up on the backlog of however many videos I've got. I appreciate that. And thanks for sharing the journey. I wanted to share the five things with you all because I feel it's right um, to mention and uh, to make you all aware that uh, Yes, some of my, my videos may seem polished, but I am definitely still making mistakes. Um, but I'm learning from them, and that's the main thing. So I want to say thanks for watching, take care, and have a great day.